is Kimray name their products. You know, we have descriptions and we have alpha codes, a triple A. That doesn't mean anything. We just know the triple A, I know triple A stands for a 212 SGT BP. I know that an, the alpha code of AAR stands for 230 SGT BP-D. Doesn't help you, the fact that I'm a wizard at this doesn't help you at all, does it? No. Okay. He, quit, he asked me to explain what that means. What does a, the, let's go for the 212. Two inch, the 12, this is where it gets a little bit slippery, stands for 125. This is an, let's call this an ECP, Echo Charlie Papa. That alpha code means nothing to you. It just means something to our system. That's a part number. If it said, ECP, this is going to get crazy, ECP 3P, our new, this is how we're, we, our suffix system, it means that's an ECP 3P. That, what does that mean, Phil? Obviously it's got a regulator and a pilot and a drip pilot. The 3 stands for, it's, it's the 30, it's a 300 pound control pressure. The P stands for pressure reducing. So we know this, an ECP gives you the connection type and the pressure rating. That body, that right there is an ECP along with the actuator and the, and the standard spring. That alpha code gives you the pressure rating, the connection type, flange versus screwed, and the actuator, the spring. The three gives you the pilot the P tells you what it's doing. Because now you can buy these from the factory. And I know... I've got one coming for you guys. So now whenever you guys, you, wanted, you don't want to buy a motor valve and a pilot and a YAV or a 67 CFR or, <laughs> or a sense line protector or an overpressure protector, which is not shown there. You want to just order it and it shows up and you put it in line. ECP 3P. You get, that means that you get the 30 HPG, P for pressure reducing. If it said ECP 3B, intuitively, that would mean back pressure. Tell me what 402 means. Um, 402 FGT PR. 4 for 4 inch, 02 times 10 is a 20, a 20 stands for, it's a 20 pound spring. FGT versus SGT. F is, stands for flange. G for gas. It's a G series. It means it's a, it's a regulator. It's a versus an M. If it says an FMT, this is an FMT. It's flanged and it's a motor valve. Well, <clears throat> motor, which Garvin Kimmel, who uh, is a founder of Kim Ray, he came up with the, motor, the term motor valve. It, it imparts motor. So pop quiz. 402 FGT BP. No idea. Okay. Well, then I haven't done my job. It's 4 inch 20 spring. The rest I don't remember. It's all right here on this page, right? Except for our OP. Okay, for 112 SMT ADAB. Yeah, the ADAB, the part, is not, that's not listed on this. No, it's not. But everything else is, but just those last like three or four digits. No, it's not. This is why, this is why uh, we give these schools. <laughs> 12 SMT ADAB. It's a one inch. It's a 12 is, it's 125 pound. That's typically would mean it's cast iron. That's what it's rated at. SMT, screw motor through, motor versus a regulator. ADAB. Adjustable double acting. In our suffix system, once you get beyond that first alpha code, is intuitive as long as you know what it means, which is sort of oxymoronic. But, like for example, AAA5V. We've already established that 5 means reduced. V stands for what? There you go. So if you have an AA5AF. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
And that's a little bit of, that, that's sort of intuitive that way. So if you, uh, once you know what the suffixes mean, you can call fill up and say, man, I need an, an AAA5S6AF. So what did they disordered? What have you, AA5S6AF, what did I disorder? S6 or SS6, you'll see that call out, which means 316 stainless steel. So you're going to get a AAA with 316 wetted internals with aflast elastomers. Once you've been exposed to the suffix system, you can, you can intuit it out versus 1875555, whatever. You, don't, you can never figure that out. You're not going to get all this in the 10 or 15 minutes of me saying this. This is why we, I'm here, came ready to representative. We have, we have distributors. That's why we have our phone numbers all over our website. Yes.